So this guy right here was nice enough to let me have a pergola that we got from a big job site. Tore it down, took me one day, super pumped on it. We stored it in my barn for two years. Now, now we wanna build a pergola and he's even more nice by letting us do this pergola in my backyard, which I'm super excited about. Some of the wood's old, it's split, but because he's a genius, he's figured out a way to make it work and go in the backyard. And uh, he's drugged me out here to do it. I'm sweating and broke my pinky. Didn't break my pinky. Almost broke my pinky. I'm tired, but I'm Might having- have broke your pinky. <laughs> Might have broke my pinky. So we're having a good time. I'm very excited that he's allowed me to be a part of this build and allowed me to have the lumber and allowed me to build this in the backyard just for you guys so you can learn how to build a pergola right. By the way, it's on like a $60 budget. So we're like $62 in. Yeah, well, yeah, That's that is- pretty cool. $62. Yeah, one post, two pieces of band, the rest of it was reclaimed. So not too bad. Need a man. I'm sweating and broke my pinky. Didn't break my pinky. Almost broke my pinky. I'm tired, but I'm might having- have broke your pinky. Might have <laughs> broke my pinky. What's going on, guys? I'm here at Justin's. We're building a pergola. I don't know what he got me into. <laughs> right, guys, if you have not been to our channel, welcome. This is It's His Turf. Today, we are building a pergola. So what we have is some reclaimed lumber off of a big hardscape job we did last year. And so what we're doing is we are setting a 10 by 12 pergola. We have the six by six post set. We're about to be putting some gravel in around the post. This is gonna allow for them not to rot out around the base but also they're gonna allow for us to be able to set them up get them square and start building on it today and not having to wait for a few days for the concrete to cure so we're gonna get the gravel in get all these posts set get our band up and let's get this thing knocked out before dark
Good morning, YouTube. So this is day two on the pergola build. What we got going on is we actually had to redig some of the holes. Um, reason being is the size of the pergola had changed. So uh, we went from a 10 by 12 to a nine foot five by 12. Reason being is because of some of our reclaimed lumber. We had some broke ends on them that we had to cut off. And that was the largest pergola we could do with the lumber that we're using. So that's what we did. We made the changes. We got it set. We pulled some string lines and we just redug our last hole. We're about to get our last post put in. So once that post is put in, we're going to finish our band out and then it should go pretty quick. But let's hope. Dustin's finishing cleaning up the lumber, putting the extra lumber back into the barn, and we got this thing all buttoned up. So it uh, came together really nice. A uh, great way to, you know, just refurbish, reclaim uh, this lumber. And uh, we only had to buy the front piece of the band, the back piece of the band, and that back post. Everything else came reclaimed off of a deck um, on a big hardscape that we did almost two years ago. Most of all, we tried out a few new things today. Um, one thing was by notching that back band and setting our two by eights down into it. Uh, we went in an inch and a half and this really made it sturdy. So um, I am excited about that. That's something that I'll probably do from here on out. Um, the other thing that we did on this job that was different than most is we set the post with gravel. So what we had seen is that by putting the concrete in around it, um, it causes it to rot because of moisture. And so I thought, hmm, okay, kind of makes sense. Um, never heard that before. And so I uh, saw on there where people were saying to uh, use a chat gravel um, around the post. So that's what we did. We put this chat gravel in around the base and we were able to set these posts and no longer do we have them set we were building on them so um, two things that we did different on this job and really like it so guys let me know what you think and uh, if you have one of these projects going on you know yourself let me know maybe I can help you and uh, the biggest thing is going square I think that um, lay this thing out square lay it on the ground extend your string lines that extend past where you're working um, in all directions so you should have four string lines bam 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 uh, maybe extend them out three four feet outside your working space by using some stakes and then paint out your corners square them up when you square them up so it would be 10 foot 10 foot 12 foot 12 foot and then um, across the middles would be 15 inches 15 feet 8 inches so boom boom so make sure and check your diagonals that's how you'll square it up guys leave a comment down below let me know what you're up to and i wish you thought about this video and until next time god bless take care we'll see you